Hi guys, I have new Amazon PPC training for you. So Amazon Automatic Campaign is a useful sponsored products campaign type in Amazon PPC. At any stage of your product, are newly launched or established, right? So in this video, I will teach you how to optimize your auto campaign using negative targeting. This is the first part of uh, auto campaign optimization but it is the most critical. The second part is optimizing targeting groups in a auto campaign. So in this video, I will show you how to go through search terms report of an auto campaign in order to identify negative search terms and how to add them to negative targeting. Specifically, firstly, how to choose time period when reviewing search terms and secondly, how to identify irrelevant search terms or products. And thirdly, what to do with search terms that you are unsure about, or in other words, you are on the fence about. And next is what to do with broad market or short tail keywords. And how often should you review search terms report at different stages of your product, are newly launched and established. Right. And next is how to add search terms including keywords and product ACMs to negative targeting. And lastly, when to add a search term to negative targeting at the campaign level of an auto campaign. So let's dive in. Okay, I'm going to show you how to optimize Amazon Auto campaign through negative targeting. This will be very helpful for existing products which you are running auto campaigns for and especially for new launch product which you are using auto campaign to leverage its automatic uh, targeting in order to boost traffic, right? Gather data and gain early sales for your product. So the key strategy here is to navigate the algorithm away from bad targeting, specifically irrelevant or ineffective search terms and products, and move to the green zone of relevant and high converting search terms and products, and let it, you know, operate in the green zone and uh, optimize itself for better conversion rates, right? So I call it green zone, and red zone represents bad targeting. So I created this diagram to make it easier for you to understand the overall strategy. So in order to do that, you will use negative targeting. So basically to signify and tell the algorithm that, okay, these are irrelevant search terms or products I don't want you to target. Instead, look at my listing to see what relevant to my product and target them, but stay away from these specific search terms or products. Basically, you navigate the algorithm away from irrelevant targeting. So now we are going to to Amazon Campaign Management Dashboard so that I can show you better uh, how to do it, right? Okay, so this is um, a small campaign of a new launch product. I just take it as an example. So you go to the campaign, right? So, and then go to the ad group. And then you go to search terms report. This is where you can see all of the product and search terms that have triggered clicks to your product listing. The first thing you will look at is the date range. So you would choose the date range from the last date that you reviewed the search terms of this campaign, or you can choose different time periods here. The maximum amount of days that the algorithm can look back is currently 65 days. So this is the longest period time that you can look back. Other than that, you can choose a specific time range within that uh, 65 day period, right? So for example, we choose last 65 days. And the second thing you will do, you will sort uh, by the amount of clicks from high to low. So you would want to see which search terms or products that have triggered the most clicks to your product listing, right? And then the first thing you will look for irrelevant search terms or products, right? So for example, if you sell this product, so this is a buy candle bar bag, it's a little bit large, so it can contain a number of things in the bag, and it's specifically for the handlebar of the bicycle. 
right? So this is the product you are selling. Let's take it as an example. You will browse to see anything that is irrelevant to your product. Say, for example, like this one, you click in. It's a bicycle bag, right? But it's not for the handlebar, but for a different position on the bike. So it's considered irrelevant to your product. So you would want to eliminate it out of your auto campaign targeting. So that is irrelevant search term. Search term here can mean like product or keywords. For example, this search term dirt bike bar bag, right? So dirt bike actually is the specific type of bike. And if you think that your product is not suitable for a dirt bike, of course, you will consider this search term as irrelevant search term. So that is about irrelevant search terms or products, right? And secondly, whatever search terms or product that you are on the fence, for example, let's take this one. Okay, so this one is a bike bag. It also can be applied to the handlebar of a bicycle, right? But it's more and it's specifically for carrying a water bottle and something else uh, which should be very small like a pair of headphones for example the specific technical term for this bag is bike seat bag even though it also can be applied for handlebar so that's why amazon algorithm also shows your product on this product listing right so in this area where you can see all the sponsored products here so whenever you are on the fence, just remind yourself this. So every click is paid in PPC, right? So it's not like SEO, you don't have to pay for clicks and you get uh, free traffic, right? So you will want every click that you pay for has to have a high chance of converting into a sale. For example, like this product, the original intention of the searcher is to find something compact and just to carry a water bottle and something else but small. And the chance for the searcher to change their mind to buy your product is basically less than 50%, right? Your product can be a substitute to this product, but as I said, the chance for the searcher to change their mind is less than 50%. So better to eliminate it because remember that you have to pay for every click in PPC. Another thing in reviewing search terms is we will have broad market search terms. And if you don't remember what is a broad market keyword or search term, go back to my previous lesson about Amazon Keywords Fundamental to remind yourself everything you need to know about Amazon Keywords. Um, I will put the link to that video again in the description of this video. So broad market search term is similar to a short tail keyword in digital marketing, we normally call it. They are usually very broad and they very generic. They tend to have high search volume, but they don't reveal much about the searcher intent behind the keyword. And it may trigger many clicks to your listing, but, you know, uh, very few sales. So the advertising cost of sale will be very high for these broad market search terms. So you may want to eliminate them as well. So in this example, let's say if you see a search term like buy back, for example, this is an actual search term on Amazon, which has over 11,000 searches per month on Amazon versus bicycle handle bar back, which has uh, just over 1,000 searches per month. But remember, but buyback can mean anything. It can be this thing or this can be, you know, this thing, a different position on the bicycle. It is for the frame. Even this bag, under seat, bike bag. So buyback can mean anything. Uh, whereas bicycle handlebar bag obviously mean a bag for the handlebar of a bicycle, right? At least it's relevant to your product. So the search term like buyback, you may want to eliminate it, right? So uh, let me see if we can find anything similar to bike bag in this search term report. Okay, so bicycle bag storage, right? So it's pretty similar to bike bag storage. Of course, any bag should be able to store something, right? But it doesn't say specifically about the position of the bag on the bike for handlebar or for under the seat or, you know, uh, like seat bag like this. 
right? So you would want to eliminate it as well. So that is about broad market keywords. We have a number of tips. Firstly, the frequency of how often you should review such terms of your auto campaign. So you should do it at least once every week or every two weeks because if you leave it for too long, for example, one or two months, the number of such terms for you to review will be a lot. The task will become very daunting to you whenever you think about it, right? And uh, secondly, auto campaign can uh, spend money very fast. So if you leave it for too long, of course, your campaign will waste a lot of money on irrelevant products or search terms, right? So at least once a week or every two weeks. And especially for new launch product, I recommend you have a look at search term report every two or three days until your campaign starts to have some momentum and it has improved performance. Basically, it's when you have signified to the algorithm often enough about what are relevant to your products, what are not, and the algorithm now has moved to the green zone, if you still remember about the diagram. So that's when you can reduce the frequency of reviewing search terms report, you can just have a look at it once every week, right? Once a week. But when you first launch, better to look at it at least every two or three days. So the next part is how to add negative targeting. After you have identified irrelevant search terms or products, you go to negative targeting tab over here. And of course, you have two options, um, negative products and negative keywords for auto campaign. So for negative products, very simple. You just copy and paste the IC number of the irrelevant product to negative targeting. Choose enter list and just copy and paste the IC number over here. So each IC should be on a separate line. And if you uh, have a list of ICs that are very long and a lot of IC since you can upload the file, you can download the template and follow the template and populate the file and upload to Amazon. Usually you just need to enter the list uh, directly over here and click in exclude, right? For negative keywords, you have two options, uh, negative exact and negative phrase. And if you don't remember how exact uh, match and phrase match work, again, go back to my video about Amazon keyword fundamentals to remind yourself how keyword match types work on Amazon. So for any word or any search phrase that you believe that your product has nothing to do with, you can put in phrase match example, over here, I have some negative keywords that I put in negative phrase, like under six, because you are selling the bag for handlebar and you don't want the algorithm to target anything related to under the seat of the bicycle or any type of uh, vehicle, right? So um, you would want to eliminate anything related to under seat. Right. So that's when you would want to add that search term in negative phrase in the search terms report earlier. You know, I can see a search term that contain blue, blue color, right? So your product is obviously black and of course you have nothing to do with blue color. So you can go to negative targeting and put blue in negative phrase right and click save that is for negative phrase and for negative exact whatever search term that you just want to exclude that exact search term you put it in negative exact for example by school back this one uh, has been put in negative exact because somehow it's still relevant to this category but as I said earlier by school back can mean anything it can mean you know this bag or this bag so usually keywords like this will trigger a lot of clicks but the sales will be very few and of course uh, advertising cost of sale will be high and but if you put it in negative phrase if someone put in a search phrase bicycle bag handle bar for example right because you put it in phrase match it will eliminate any search phrase that contain bicycle bags in it. So if you put this bicycle bags in negative phrase, you may eliminate a number of relevant search terms to your product. 
right? So for negative exact, it's for eliminating the exact first term solely opposite to a negative phrase. So it's more narrow and negative phrase. The coverage is broader. So if you still don't remember much about this, come back to my earlier lesson about Amazon Keywords Fundamental to remind yourself all of the knowledge about Amazon Keywords. And the last thing is that remember to add a negative targeting for your campaign as well. Basically, if you identify anything that your product has nothing to do with, you can put it in negative targeting of the campaign to save you time. For example, if you have more than one ad group in your auto campaign, right? You have different product variations and you have more than one ad group. Whichever product or keywords that you absolutely sure about that all of your product variations have nothing to do with, you put them in a negative targeting of your campaign. So it will save you time. You don't have to go to every single ad group to add those search terms or product as in, right? So that is the last thing. And again, I want to remind you about this over strategy is to navigate the algorithm away from irrelevant targeting to more relevant targeting, which I call green zone, where the algorithm will optimize itself and give you the best result for your PPC campaign. That's pretty much it for today. So this is the first part of optimizing your Amazon Auto campaign. The second part, we will look at how to optimize targeting options in an auto campaign. I will see you there. Okay. Have a good day. Bye.